Good evening and welcome to St. Luke's Anglican Church in Oakville for Saturday, October the 24th. I am the Reverend Jody Blint and with me I have our pianist Janet Correa. Before tonight's service, I would like to make a little announcement. This will be my last taped evening prayer here at St. Luke's. Um, I have accepted a full-time position down at, uh, in Port Colborne at St. James and St. Brendan. So I just wish to take a moment to say thank you to everyone at St. Luke's for all your love and all your support um, during my brief stay here. It has been a great honor and a great privilege to be one of your pastors. Thank you. Let us take a moment to just still our hearts and prepare for tonight's evening prayer. Let us pray. The angels of God guard us through the night in the quiet and powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide and lead us to peace and glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. Dear brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship that you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou, most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star. We repent for the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love, O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world transfigure us. We forget that we are your home, Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read together Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God. With glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquiet within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Mazar. Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully? Because the enemy oppresses me. As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquiet within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 to 13. 
He was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receives, and everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Let us pray. Into your hands, O God, I command my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Together we pray. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in you. Praise be to God. I have lived to see this day, God's promises fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as it was in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, it is night, and the night is for stillness. May we be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done, and what has not been done has not been done. I leave it in your loving hands. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace unfold us all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. 
Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, and the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above forever. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secrets of our hearts. Living flame, burn in us, cleansing wind, blow through us, that we may love and praise you in deed and in truth. Amen. Christ, be within us to keep, beside us to guard, before us to lead, behind us to protect, beneath us to support, and above us to bless. Amen. The divine spirit lives in us. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.